This video is just a quick video to remind you how to draw in freehand isometric. Now for this, you will always be given an isometric view of a piece of packaging or a shape that you need to copy in freehand. We will not be expecting absolutely perfect 30 degree angles, but we do want to see that it looks like an isometric. The big problem with freehand is that people never have their lines parallel. So again, same with the technical, always make sure that your vertical lines are all parallel, your lines going off at an angle to the top right are parallel, and the same to the left. So exactly the same technique as the technical, always start with either a cube or a rectangle depending on your shape. Um, this one you will see has obviously got quite a high lid part, so if that was to be completed, it is a tall rectangle. This one is more of a shorter and long rectangle, so you do need to look at whatever shape you're given for your exam um, and work out what's the best way to do it. So if we were going to do this one, we would very carefully want to, and the idea of freehand is the lines are not perfect, but you do want to try and get them parallel. So there's no point drawing one off to one angle if it doesn't match the other lines you have drawn. So you do want to refer to the lines you've already got drawn on your page in order to get them right. So that's my basic rectangle because we can see it needs to go quite high for the lid. So the lid is gonna be about halfway. So I can then draw in The idea of the lid. We've then got the base part, which we know we can see. We've got the inside, which is slightly higher. If this was to continue, it would sit above the drawer. So therefore, this is going to come down a little way. We've then got the drawer on the side. And again, it's just about keeping everything parallel. You only really want to be drawing three sets of lines. If your lines don't sit parallel to each other, then the isometric isn't going to work. Once you've got a rough idea, you can then press over firmer with your pencil and really start to define the shape's outline. Again, the lighter you draw your guidelines, the easier this will be to do and make to stand out. If your guidelines are too too hard then this won't then make it stand out and then there you can see the shape it's not perfect some of my lines are a little bit wonky in places but that's the idea of freehand isometric it's not perfect because it's not technical but it is all parallel all my verticals are nice and parallel with each other my angles are pretty much spot on with each other if I was to place a ruler and try and copy these up they're not far off so it's all about looking with your eye and working out how it's going to look to get it into that freehand effect.